Okay, um, some people on random places on the internet have been wondering exactly how you could get your computer performance to run faster, and people have been telling them ways, which those ways, such as like restarting your computer, deleting the files you don't need, and getting more space that will bring it up. Well, that actually, deleting, getting yourself more space doesn't really do anything. It's really the processors. Now, if you have a like a Celeron or a Pentium 4 or something for it from Intel or an AMD, AMD that's one processor, that you're going to have a kind of tough time to get it up. But the way I'm about to show you could get you up maybe a little bit more. Like, it uh, could make your performance a little bit better. For two processors, this will make the slightest bit of a difference, but then that can help if your computer's RAM is... Uh, like being used up a lot for a video game or something. Now, the first thing to do is that if you're a video creator like me, you would want to go to your videos folder and make sure that it's empty or you've deleted all the videos that you do not need. Now, right here, these are videos that I do need, so I'm going to need them because for a lot of the videos, they're going to take up a lot of space because they're a few gig each. Now the next way is to make sure that you go to your virus scanner. Mine is McAfee. Give it a second. Then you want to go to update and once it's finished updating you want to click scan. If there are any updates then just let them install and everything. Then you want to do scan and do a full system scan. Now this is with McAfee. You want to update your, your computer should your virus uh, Scanner should update on a regular basis, like almost every time you start your computer, but you just want to click it before you scan because you never know if there's a new virus out there. Because uh, for some things, viruses are created every three seconds. <laughs> <coughs> now, another thing you want to do is make sure that you don't have any useless junk on your desktop. You want to clear all that stuff off, delete it, and you should that should bring it up a little bit and it'll also give you like what you want to find. Uninstall any games that you'd never play anymore or that you think will never play or the ones that don't run. And also when you're done deleting stuff just right click on your cycle bin and do empty. Now another thing which really helps is to defrag your computer and then check for errors. Now you want to go to your computer, you want to go to start and go to your computer. And this does work on XP and Vista and what I'm showing you. Then you want to find your drive. This is Mario's and Scar's drives. You want to right click on it and go to properties. And it'll show up your memory right here and everything. First what you would want to do is disk cleanup. It'll get rid of a ton of crud on it. You want to click compress this disk space, this drive to save disk space. That will bring the performance down a little bit but it saves your disk space. But if you want it to be higher, unclick that. I mean, you want to. You also want to click index for faster searching. Now, what you want to do is go to tools, go to check now, and then you want to schedule it to your next restart, which you'll have to, which is going to have to do. And once that's done, you want to go to defragmentation. And once it defrags, it moves a bunch of files in places where your computer can find it. And if you haven't defragged your computer ever, that will really help. Backup, I've never done that, so I can't say anything. Another thing is to get, uh, like, power up your virtual memory. I can't help you with that either because it, um, if you, I told you you could screw up something, so that's really what you have to do. Now, another way is to update your video driver. This will, your display driver, I mean. This will make it go a little bit faster, it will make your games look better, and it will um, just help your computer display overall. Now, if you bought your computer a day before, and just so you know, when if you buy a new computer, and just because a computer is new doesn't mean it's good, but if you bought it a day before and it's got a graphics card in it, you probably don't need to do this, but it's pretty good to check anyway. First, what you want to do is go to run and type dxdiag. Hit OK. And then this direct diagnostic tool will come up. You want to click on the display tab, the display one, and it will uh, show you the device. 
Mine is an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTS, 86, sorry, 8600 GTS. And it tells you your total memory and everything else. Now, what you want to do is go to the internet. And then go to NVIDIA.com if your display driver is NVIDIA. Or you want to go to ATI.com if your uh, display driver is Atari. <coughs> now, sorry, it's been loading. For NVIDIA, go to Download Drivers. You just click on that. For um, a uh, sorry for Atari, you want to go to Atari Graphics and Drivers, which is down here under the support. Now for Nvidia, I'll show you Nvidia Force. You want to choose your product type. Mine is GeForce, and it has a bunch of other ones up here. Then you want to choose which series. So if it's like GeForce 8800 series or something, then you want to choose GeForce 8 series. And then you want to choose your whatever you have down here, Ultra, GTX, I don't know. So for me, I would choose 8600 GTS, Windows. <coughs> then you want to choose your operating system. I have a Windows 32 bit. It should automatically detect it. I don't know. And then you want to go to language and search and choose US. Hit search, and it, your it will come up right here. It will tell you the Forceware release or whatever it is. And download now. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Now, for Atari, you want to choose yours. Mine would be, I don't know, you want to choose it. I'm just going to choose what my older computers was. You want to choose your operating system, what it is, and then the type. Click go. And you might want to get rid of that pop up, but it will give you the download thing. You want to the download link is right here, the Catalyst Software Suite, and it will download Display Driver, a Catalyst Control Center, and WM Drivers. If you do all these steps, defrag your computer, scan it, and delete your temporary internet files, which go into tools and delete browsing history and everything. When you do that, your computer performance should be up quite a bit. I cannot guarantee that it will run faster, like, uh, like 400,000% faster. You can some you can go into the options and set um, what your performance is, like it, except for power saving, and they'll say high performance and everything. But if I do these steps, you should be pretty good, and yeah, or have fun, I guess.